So here's what I would like you to do. We're going to look at this idea of the downward spiral of reading failure. As we look at this downward spiral of reading failure, this is your task. I'm going to talk through this downward spiral. As I talk through the downward spiral, I would like you to identify four consequences of delayed development of reading skills. Again, what are the four consequences of, the de of delayed development of reading skills? When kids don't learn to read early on, what are the consequences of that? There are four main consequences, all right? So here we go. This downward spiral of reading failure. Da delayed development of reading skills affects, here's consequence number one, students' exposure to text. They are not reading as much text as their peers. That's essentially what happens. Because of their delayed development of reading skills, they are not reading as much text as their peers. When they have less exposure to text, over time, this really begins to snowball because it prevents them from fully developing language, vocabulary, and background knowledge. This adds to that downward spiral. So think about how all of those things, which all, by the way, are on the red side of the rope, add to that downward spiral and negatively impact reading comprehension. And if you wanna make a note of this, this is very much uh, addressed uh, a lot in the dyslexia world and also just in reading research. Uh, there, the researcher Keith Stanovich calls this downward spiral of reading failure, this phenomenon, Matthew effects. And it's this idea that the rich get richer over time and the poor get poor in terms of development. Those students who learn to read early on, they continue improving and gaining knowledge, gaining vocabulary, becoming better readers, while students who struggle become increasingly behind and so become poorer. In other words, the gap might start out like this at the beginning of their school careers. Over years, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the gap just widens. 